Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to be busy on Miss Apron Strings today because I'm going to try to get a few videos ahead just in case because we don't know exactly what the next few days are going to hold. Our weather in Texas outside looks pretty today. The sun's shining and it's going to get up to like 45 degrees. That's like a heat wave and I love every bit of it. So maybe the cold weather's behind us. They did say in a couple of weeks we may get some more, but it shouldn't be as bad as what we just got. And then maybe we can get on into the spring. But the robins were out there, and they're supposed to be telling us it's springtime. So maybe, maybe we're about over our little version of a winter blizzard. I'm going to make a, a salad today that is delicious. Now you make it with cooked rice, but I just white rice. But I had cooked some rice a day or two ago, and I always put a package of Lipton's or the store brand, usually all of these actually, uh, onion soup mix in it. So that's going to turn it the brown color and give it a lot more flavor. But it's made with cooked rice and then some ingredients that we add to it. Makes a wonderful salad. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little story, though, about crunchy rice. The name of the recipe is Crunchy Rice Salad. But I have a friend that was invited to dinner at a lady's house who, um, you know, you have a mental image of what people's going to be like and maybe how they think and so forth and so on. Well, she just thought that everything was going to be perfect. This lady is a world traveler. She works with missions. She entertains a lot. And, uh, you know, we she thought that in, in her mind that there would be no room for variance on everything being perfect. So when they sat down for the meal, she said, look, the rice didn't get as done as I wanted it to, so tonight we're just going to pretend that we like crunchy rice. And they ate and enjoyed every bit of it, and it taught my friend a lesson, and in turn it taught me a lesson. Take what doesn't turn out right and make it work. And it taught a life lesson. When things don't go just like we want them, our saying now is, we like crunchy rice. So just a little thought on making do with what you have and don't let it ruin the evening. That could have ruined the evening for, for this lady if she was that particular. But she wasn't. She said, you don't have time to cook another pot of rice, so we're just going to act like we like crunchy rice. So today we're having crunchy rice salad. So I need to get y'all where you can see what I'm doing. I've already chopped just about everything and got it ready. So we're going to mix it up and what you really do is put it in the, in the ice box being interpreted as a refrigerator for uh, overnight if you can to let the flavors mingle. But of course I'm going to mix it up and taste it for y'all and then I'll, re I'll refrigerate mine to make it taste better after a while. But uh, I'm not going to wait 24 hours to have some of this. So y'all come on over here to the butcher block my favorite saying and we'll get this made and let y'all see what it looks like and I'll get me a bite and then y'all can get the ingredients and make you some. Okay the first thing that you're going to need is two cups of cooked rice or you take one cup of rice and cook it and however much it swells up that's what you use. But I just because I had already cooked mine I just measured out two cups and like I told you mine's a different color it's brown looking because I cook it with a package of onion soup mix. And just a tip, I've told you before, but all these onion soup mix, you know, it comes two envelopes to the package. It's 58 cents for two. So that's the kind I use now. Now we're going to need to put in one cup of chopped green onions, and I've already chopped those. So I'm going to put those in. And we need one cup of diagonally sliced celery. Now, if you had never done that, that just means your piece of celery is straight and you hold in your knife kind of at a slant like 10 o'clock and cutting it. That makes those little pieces that to me looks like a shrimp curled up. We're going to put that in. And if the pieces are too big, as some of mine look a little big, I'm going to clip them with some scissors here in a minute. It calls for a, a three and a half ounce can of drained mushrooms, but I don't have any of those. Uh, so I've got some freeze-dried mushrooms and I'm just going to put them in and I'm going to add a little bit of extra juice for them to rehydrate in. Okay, we're going to need one can 
are sliced water chestnuts. Well, guess what? I have diced water chestnuts and whole ones, so I don't want to slice them. So I'm going to use these diced ones and drain them. And somebody had asked me where I got this easy to use can opener. It's from Thrive Life and uh, it's in the accessories if you go to their website. So if you want one, that's where you order it. They're about $12 or $14 worth every penny of it, especially if your hands hurt. Now I've got this little drainer that I got a hundred years ago from Pampered Chef. And you just put it on the top of your can and hold it real snug and go over to the sink and drain it. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, got that chore done. So I'm just going to put my water chestnuts in the bowl. As you know, that's what's going to help it crunch. And then it calls for, you know, the smaller can, 11 and a half ounce or whatever, mandarin oranges. Well, all I've got is a bigger can, so guess what? Mine might have a few more oranges in it, or I might eat some of them. I'll decide that at some point. And I'm going to go over there. Well, I guess I'll use, just do it like this. I was going to say use my little thing again, but I didn't get my lid all the way off. So I'm just going to use the lid to drain it. And I'm going to put most of these in there, and I'll just see. That's about one of those little cans, and I may use the rest of them, and I might just eat them. Don't know yet. Get me a wooden spoon to stir it up with. I'm just going to toss it around. See, I love salads. Troy don't love salads, so I'll be the one that loves this. So it's not going to feel unloved here. It's just not going to, a bunch of it's just not going to be eaten in a hurry. Grandson might eat some of it, I don't know. I hear the mail lady. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had a book that came in, and I'll show it to you Thursday ordered me a little cookbook and I'm excited about it. You see, the colors in this are really pretty. Look here. The oranges and the peppers and the celery, the different shades. It's pretty, isn't it? The good Lord set us a good example when he made all different sizes and shapes and colors of leaves and flowers. We're in a beautiful world, so we can make beautiful food too. We can learn from his example. Okay, the next thing that we need to put in is one-fourth cup each. We need soy sauce. My hand is giving me a fit. I can't grip stuff good. Ouch! It hurts right in there. I guess it's author, and I don't like author. Okay, I'm going to mix a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. And if you want to use the reduced sodium, you can. This is just what I've got, so it's what I'm going to use. A fourth cup. And a fourth cup of rice vinegar. And mine is the seasoned rice vinegar. Ooh, that opened a little easier. I like this stuff. Fourth of a cup of the seasoned rice vinegar. And it calls for vegetable oil, but y'all know I change stuff sometimes. I still have some of this garlic infused oil, and I'm going to use that if I can get it to pour out of here without taking all day. I might use some of this and some of the other. It's pokey. And it's heavy, so I'm going to set it down. Come on. I guess they want it to last a long time, so they make a little bitty hole at the top where you can't get it out very well. So in place of this, if you wanted to, you could add some minced garlic. You know how I feel about my garlic. It makes everything taste better. They had this at Costco, and I bought two bottles, and this is my second bottle. And they only had it last year 
I guess for the holidays. They hadn't had it since, and it made me sad because I wanted some more. Because I'll use a little, little bit of this and then just regular olive oil, and you've got that good garlic flavor and stuff. Okay, I'm going to put my, and it called for vegetable oil, and that is olive oil. So, your choice. You can do what it says on the recipe, or you can, uh, I always use olive oil when I can. So I'm just going to take my little whisk here and try to make this all incorporate together. And then I'm going to toss it on the salad, drizzle it on the salad, and then toss my salad to get it all over everything. Now you know this is just a canvas. You can do whatever you want to to add your colors. You could add some red and yellow bell peppers, whatever you want to do, a can of pimentos to add some extra color to it. But this is just what the recipe called for. So let's put our sauce on there. It smells good. I love that rice vinegar. Now because my rice was in the ice box and I didn't take time to unclump it, I have a few clumps that I'm going to have to mash. But if you just cooked it and it's warm, it's not going to be like that. But when I cook rice, I usually cook two cups, which we don't ever eat that much. Then I have it to make goulash or a salad or whatever. And if I don't put this stuff in it, I make rice pudding with it. But you don't want rice pudding with, unless you make a savory rice pudding with onion soup mix in it, do you? And I know y'all are going to be thinking, how's Mr. Troy? He's doing okay. He's at home. And... Uh, just like before we went to the hospital, he can, he does well sitting down, even on the tractor, but if he exerts himself, that's when he gets out of breath. So he's just taking it easy, and we're just waiting to see what we find out. I'm going to get me a spoon and taste of this, and then I'm going to, uh, actually, I will fix a bowl and take a picture to put for the video, but I am going to let it marinate in the, in the ice box for a few hours, and then uh, we'll have it with our meal after. Well, we, me, myself, and I, because I'm probably the only one that's going to like it. That's the usual on salads. Troy eat green salad, and he'll eat coleslaw, but stuff like this, that's not his favorite. Let me get a fork. Now I'm going to be real proper. I'm going to give you a bite with a spoon. Let's see, I definitely want some celery. I don't want one of those mushrooms. It's got to rehydrate. Oh, I want some orange. Okay, let me get a bite of this. That's good. That's wonderful. So, I think I'm going to add the rest of those oranges just because I like that flavor. Y'all need to make this. I would say this is basically healthy. You could make it with brown rice. But it's very good, salty with the soy. I'm not worried about that today. I'm just making something that tastes good. So let me uh, add the rest of these oranges while y'all are watching me so you know I did what I said I was going to do. So actually, instead of a, it calls for 11 ounce can. And this one is a, well, it's as big as a 14 or 15. I don't have my cheaters on, but it's the bigger can, and it's the Kroger brand. And I drained them. So, mine's going to be a little bit more orangey colored, and I like the I like the flavor. That's just very good. I'm going to get it over there where y'all can see it. Isn't that pretty? And it sure does taste good. Now, you can serve this on lettuce leaves. Get that butter lettuce are one of the ones that will have the little cupped shape and it's very good on lettuce and it's not very fattening. Otherwise you can just use it as a side dish with a pork chop or some uh, grilled chicken. It's very good with that. You can add pineapple to this too. There's just It's a blank canvas. You could can add whatever you want to but it's very very good and it's a way to use that extra rice. So I'm going to put it in a pretty bowl and I'm going to take a picture I'm going to put it in the icebox, and after a while, I'll be eating me some of it. And I'll probably eat me some of it while I'm dishing it up. And planning the next video. Thursday is going to be our meal for one or two. It's going to be something very good. 
and very different. I think I'm going to do something sweet, or it may be, I'm not going to tell you. I've got two or three recipes popping around in my brain, and I'm going to just roll the dice and see which one of them stops, and we'll have something good. And unless, you know, there's a major, major something in my life that I can't do my videos, they'll keep coming. And if, if so, I'm going to post on the community tab. I think if you click on apron strings on my face there, I think it'll bring up where you can go to the community tab and uh, see if there's any updates there if I'm absent. But I'm going to try to get ahead a little bit, so I should be here. But if I have anything I need to tell y'all, it'll be on that community tab and you can uh, stay updated. Good Lord bless and keep y'all. Feed that family some good stuff and make good memories. I think we've pretty well had a catastrophe all over the United States with this weather system. So that should tell you to keep some stuff ahead when the stores are empty or you can't get to the store. There's all kinds of issues that can come up where you'll need extra food. Get you something that you can open up and make something good with. Um, even peanut butter and jelly keep you from starving. Have a little bit of extra stuff on hand. Have you some extra blankets in case the lights go out. Get you an oil lamp or two or three or four. Have you some safe candles to use. If you have a fireplace, have you some wood. My son-in-law had to go to the doctor or something. And he said, and what my grandson told me, he said, Nana, I bet you there were 75 cars lined up down the shoulder of the road to buy those little bundles of firewood. Everybody was cold, but they weren't prepared because they didn't use their fireplace much. And so now they're trying to get wood to keep warm with. He said the fast food places that were open, he said it was dangerous because the lines were just, tw just twined around everywhere. Y'all, have you something at home where you don't have to get out and in a time like this or you know we may see something else it may not be a freeze it may be something else prepare your pantries a little bit ahead where you can just hunker down at home and didn't have to worry about anything it was a nice feeling to be able to just say okay i'm gonna stay home for a week if you'll just think ahead get one or two extra things along you'll be prepared and then you won't have to worry about it the good Lord bless and keep y'all. Thank you, everyone, for every prayer and every comment. For a space there, I did not be, I wasn't able to respond. Part of the time I was with Troy at the hospital. Part of it, we were in the midst of all of this, and my internet was slower than syrup. Man, it was slow. So I thought, I'll just start catching up when things get back to normal. So if you commented, like on the Thursday beef goulash and I didn't get to comment back. I am sorry. I probably won't go back and answer all of those, but I'm trying to keep up just like I have been on the newer ones. So y'all come back here in a day or two and we'll have something really good and um, I'll have to think up a little bit of something else to talk about. It's not a problem for me. Shutting up's the problem. Have a blessed week. I thought I would come back and show y'all. I've got it all plated up in a bowl here. What it looks like. I love all the colors and I sure love the taste of it. Make you some and happy eating. <laughs>